All right, everybody. Welcome to Funday Monday, Funded Forward, February 2023. It's really nice to have something so significant in this contest in regards to our better health. This is the subject of today's contest, in fact. That's right. The question this month is, which civilization was first the first one to use toothpaste? The options were A, ancient Greece, B, Chou Dynasty, C, e ancient Egypt, and D, ancient Rome. The answer is C, ancient Egypt. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a, I think some people probably had to look it up. I know I did. That was a tough question. I did question. too. <laughs> <laughs> tough question. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's nice to know that ancient civilizations understood the importance of keeping their teeth clean and healthy with bristles and toothpaste. Egyptians were cleaning their teeth with toothpaste as early as 5000 BC, long before toothbrushes were even invented back in the 1400s. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I guess we knew, I guess before that time, People probably just knew that their teeth were really dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. They were trying to come up with ways to keep them clean, you know? That's you right. Know, I'm sure they were. Yeah. And in 2003, museum curator, curators in Vienna found the oldest known toothpaste recipe written in Greek on Egyptian papyrus. And it dates back to the fourth century. Wow. And the <laughs> ingredients for this toothpaste included rock salt, mint, dried iris flour, and peppermint. It was very effective in removing plaque, though it did cause gums to bleed because of the abrasive ingredients of the rock salt. <laughs> yeah, that rock salt. I mean, I, I mean it's, it's kind of cool to hear that they actually have peppermint in there that long ago. Yeah. So that they got some of it right, you know. <laughs> so, but but the Chinese, you know, actually invented the toothbrush as we know it today, which I just think is fascinating. And and we still use abrasive ingredients like baking soda in toothpaste today, but the embrace abrasive ingredients are about the same hardness as our teeth, so they don't damage the enamel of our teeth. Well, that's good. That's good. And I know they've always talked about baking soda being one of the best ingredients for toothpaste, which is pretty cool. They they figured that out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness we're not using rock salt anymore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's. I don't think that would even taste good. <laughs> no, we have rock candy, but that's different than rock salt. Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> So more modern toothpaste was invented in 1824 where a dentist named Peabody was the first person to add soap to toothpaste, <laughs> to the paste that is. Uh -huh. And then in, 18, in the 1850s, John Harris added chalk as an ingredient. That's different. Yeah, that is too. <laughs> in 1914, they started adding fluoride to strengthen the teeth. And by 1945, soap, thank goodness, was replaced by other ingredients that tasted better and made a smoother paste. <laughs> well, you know, like it's interesting because like when I was growing up, you always heard about, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap. You know, if you're not, if you don't, and they, a lot of times that happened. <laughs> it did to me and it was not pleasant. So I'm glad they removed the soap from toothpaste. <laughs> uh. Of course, as a kid, we taste everything. And I remember tasting soap and just, ah, ah didn't, <laughs> didn't like that. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so and finally, in, in the 1980s, whitening ingredients were added to help brighten teeth, which is uh, still true today with a lot of our toothpaste. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, you know, it's it's so fun to hear about just some of the history of some of these, the contest questions. And so I appreciate Elisa, you um, every month going through with this with me, because I know people, they love 
there's a lot of people out there that love trivia. You know, it's just so fun, I think, to, to try to answer the question. And then sometimes you're just so tempted to go to the internet and, and see what the answer is. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So we have to do that sometimes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, information. Yeah. We're all curious, you know, it gets us diving into history, which I think is great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's time for the contest. Let's see who, uh, right. who we can fund it forward to this month, this okay. February. See who it is. Greg and Tina Morris. Congratulations. Greg and Tina Morris. Greg and Tina Morris. They'll be happy to know that they are the winners and uh, we'll make sure and get in touch with them. I think they've been a winner one or two times before, which is fantastic. Um, I know that they they come up with some great charities of choice. So we're happy to donate. We are. We are. And I think we've had several that have been winners more than once. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like the more winners we have, multiple winners we have, the better. That's why I look at it. You know, we need some more players, of course, all the time too. So but I've noticed that we get new players every month. Sometimes they come, sometimes they go, but as long as they come back, that's all that matters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, February, let's end with this. February is the month of love because we have Valentine's Day coming up. And it's just so exciting to think about uh, this month and how our focus is around uh, those that we love. And it's a great time to recognize the, the, those that we care about. It is, it is. And it's nice for us to take a little bit of time to tell them. Yeah, exactly. So everybody out there, you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, which is coming up next week. We're doing this recording on the 8th. So the 14th is just next week. I think it's next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. We've got some little little Valentine's cards going out. Hopefully to most people I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. You guys have a wonderful day and please don't keep us a secret. And we'll see you next time in March for this. Bye. Bye-bye.